in order to understand the meaning of trust we need to study two things one is the intention and other is the competence okay hi sir good afternoon good afternoon shivani very good afternoon how are you sir i'm completely fine thank you so much hope you are how, also fine yes sir how is corona uh, the better you you ask corona itself <laughs> So, sir, we before we start, I'm just curious to know what exactly you are going to tell us or cover in the current topic, understanding human relationships. Is it being related to something being related to Corona or in a generalized way? No, no, it is. It is going to be a general topic. Uh, we might be discussing that how how uh, how to understand the other person's feelings and the. Uh, so basically uh, today's session will be if, if you sometimes be invited somebody so so how to understand that other person's situation and what is the foundation for all the relationships uh, that uh, will be the soul uh, of the discussion today okay sir so i think i don't want to waste my time and rather i want to hand over an entire matlab uh, virtual session to you ki sir just begin with our session and let us all enjoy today's session with you okay sure very good afternoon everyone so we uh, we do have afternoon uh, right now in india so hopefully i don't know so uh, the, the the entire audience is from the different parts of the globe so i would just say from india namaste so uh, as uh, you you might be aware that today we are going to discuss about uh, human human relationships right so in every day the walk of life we we encounter certain sort of emotional breakdowns where where we get annoyed at people we we did not like the way they talk to us right and maybe the kind of uh, words they have chosen during the discussion with us right so do you my question to everyone do you ever get hurt with such kind of uh, you know the things the, the the words which somebody has spoken to you or the way somebody is addressing you have you ever faced that problem yes sir anyone now you guys can unmute yourself and just uh, tell us that uh, you know how did you feel or what happened with you anyone all right so but otherwise i assume that it happens with everyone so so we'll we'll just uh, begin with the today's topic so before we begin with the topic uh, so let me tell you guys that i my name is jashindeep singh and i'm currently working as an assistant professor chitkara business school chitkara university punjab india right so today's session so what uh, the learning goal will be here today that uh, i i i assume that all the participants they will be able to understand the human to human relationship in a better way i i do understand that each one of you each one of you have a certain set of relationships right fine but still there are certain uh, in the, the, the gaps in the in the relationships sometimes right so how to fill that particular gap we 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 might uh, learn today here right so so what happens is when you understand the human human relationship in an actual way it enables us to be a more responsible and satisfied person so the crux of the entire discussion will be like that that we will be talking about the foundation feeling of any any you know uh, any relationship right and we'll get to know that how it works and the learning outcome we will be able to demonstrate a good social relationship so through which we are able to make ourselves happy definitely but we will be able to make the entire society happy 
so before before we go further so here i would i would need your inputs so this slide is going to be you know the completely completely blank it's it's not like that uh, i'll be uh, going uh, forward and uh, you'll find something suddenly something will appear on the screen no it is not going to be like that right so, so my first question to you guys actually second the first one you did not reply all right so the first question here the second question sorry again so what do you think what are the basic needs of human beings what are the basic needs uh, yes, sir it's ali from pakistan punjab okay yeah very very nice to see you ali uh, sir i think uh, uh, there are two types of needs and uh, for body needs which mm -hmm. is food oxygen right and some needs are for uh, soul uh, okay. for mental satisfaction heart satisfaction mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. money so these are some needs which i uh, you know which are in my mind thank you yeah yeah thank you thank you so much uh, mohammed for replying so uh, otherwise if we if i go by some of the comments which are the, there so floor say said food yes that's the basic need zina says shelter then uh, floor again says family so that's that's uh, also a very good answer shelter yes food shelter all these safety hierarchy of needs by meslo gail says yes obviously so even if we talk about the maslow's need hierarchy he starts with the basic needs right so now yes clothing also evening thank you so much so all these needs these are the basic needs so i i must ask you if if i ignore the floor's answer here uh where he or she has written family so if i know that because it is always suggested that in order to survive we need to have our basic needs right so the basic needs it does include you know when you say family sometimes the basic need is of uh, people would say it is of the survival and if you want to survive you just need food clothing and shelter which is which is not true so when we are human beings right so even if we don't have somebody to share our feelings so we cannot survive actually so we may go uh, mad right so okay shivani all, all right shivani uh, fine now. okay so uh, we may we may go you know the out of, out of control things may go haywire that we will be thinking that what is happening to us because a lot of things will be collected in our mind right so we always need somebody to be there so that is also a basic need so when mohammed said the uh, the soul needs of the body and the needs of the soul yes when you talk about the needs of the soul your bodily needs and soul needs both are important right so when you talk about the soul needs we we might consider it to the spirituality that is a different level or maybe the next level of understanding the entire world right but here when we talk about the basic human and human interaction right so here so these are the needs which you guys have suggested definitely those are the basic needs and one thing which family you say family means there must be somebody whose companionship is required right okay uh shivani chopra is writing something uh, so it says the social associations for surviving and sustaining through good and bad times yes uh, definitely uh, shivani ma'am so definitely the social associations what we are talking about if we if we talk about the social associations associations it goes to the another level of uh, need if we go by the maslow's need hierarchy but yes the companionship we what we are talking about even if we do have one person 
with whom you share your feelings, with who you actually, uh, maybe it may be your friend uh, or maybe any other family member or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend or whosoever, right? Maybe, right? So it is about the companionship. The first thing is because the relationship is something which we all require. We need to talk to somebody. So that's, uh, that's the that's the basic uh, thing of when we talk about ki at least one relationship will also is going to be there if we talk about the human human relationship right thank you uh, shivani ma'am for for the wonderful contribution here okay so if uh, we talk about human relationships that's very very simple thing right we we are into many kind of relationships so although uh, it has been mentioned okay so what what make a particular relationship stronger so what makes a relationship first of all so feelings the feeling of talking to someone feeling of being with someone feeling of just uh, you know lazing around maybe someone with someone right so all those feelings, what, what does it make? It, it makes a relationship. It might be your pet with who you are talking. Even that is, that is perfectly fine. The only problem is that your pet will not talk to you. So it would be, it would be a kind of monologue, right? So even, even uh, your pets, the animals, they do have feelings, but they cannot respond in a way which a human being is expecting right yes compassion feeling of being loved yes all all those things so in in a relationship a relationship is made up of feelings so we need to have those feelings so now the question is if we need to understand those relationships okay so any any relationship I'm, I'm asking right so what do you think what is the foundation feeling of any relationship what it is likely to be for you what it is okay georgie trust right irene trust princess communication and trust Understanding and communication, okay. Shivani Chopra, okay. Kathleen, uh, open communication, honesty, love, sense of belonging, commitment. Wonderful, wonderful answers. So, so, so all these answers: devotion, love and sincerity, commitment, trust and acceptance to other. Muhammad. Shara Borikano says honesty and trust. Yes, you guys have given wonderful, wonderful answers. So trust me. So these are the actual things what we are required because it is it is not a something very difficult which somebody cannot understand. Even if you ask a four five years old kid that what do you want in a relationship, he would tell you that uh, somebody who loves him or her, right? So that's all. But for that, for, for that kid, it would not be a, you know, uh, easy thing to define that love, right? So here, if we talk about the foundation feeling of all the relationships, so although that is, uh, although a uh, few of people may not agree, but it is something which majority of people are going to agree that is that is trust. Trust is the foundation feeling for every relationship. So the first thing, whatever you seek in somebody, because, because even if you even if you be friends with someone, so it is not just like that you you have you have uh, got some sort of vibe only and you just get along. Yes, you you have got a vibe. But what kind of vibe is it is? It is a vibe that you can trust that particular person, right? So 
So the first thing is whenever you you talk to someone, you are actually building trust, right? Now, another thing is when we talk, a lot of a lot of things have been spoken about when it comes to trust, because uh, sometimes uh, people would uh, get confused uh, when it comes to trust with loyalty and honesty, right? So, so we we get confused. That that is something something very really, very really, you know. Uh, different so, so honesty is is a is a is a very very uh, you know the not narrow kind of thing okay although these both are the part of uh, this trust but when we want to understand the real meaning of trust what it is so we what we need to do is what we need to have is to understand is is that uh, we need to understand that in order to understand the meaning of trust, we need to study two things. One is the intention and other is the competence. Okay. So whenever, whenever we, in, in the, whichever relation we, relationship we are, right? So the first thing is, I want to be in a relationship which makes me happy, right? Which makes me happy. So is that, is that true? Or do, do you want to have such relationships which does not make you happy? Do we, do we have any, any such sort of relationship? Do we, do we intentionally want to get into such relationships? So you can simply type yes or no, uh, it would be fine. Okay, yes, uh, yes. Do you want that kind of relationship where uh, you are not happy? Are you, are you sure? Mehner, Slor, okay. So the two questions, maybe, maybe uh, the way I was communicating my question was wrong, okay. But uh, majority we are getting no to this uh, question. So even if even if you actually want to be in such a relationship, I would like to listen more into this, because this is the this is the first time I'm like, like uh, seeing uh, such type of answers to this question. Right? Could you please could you please explain or uh, was it by mistake? Okay, uh, we'll we'll go further with that. So two things like uh, I, I, I don't want to be in such a relationship which is not making me happy. Okay. Because whatever relationship I am into, actually I am actually seeking that peace, that, that trust, that respect. And above all, what we seek is whatsoever the relationship is, we all seek love. And love is the final feeling. Love is the final feeling. It is not like that we, we see somebody, we are spending a little time with that particular person and we fell in love. No, it is, it is not like that. So love is the eternal feeling and the final feeling. In order to reach that feeling of love, I, I need to go through certain feelings and definitely I'm going to start with the foundation feeling which is trust we are talking about and in order to understand that feeling of trust we are talking about two things one is intention and then competence so the going by by uh, the, the the meaning of how how do we define intentions here so i have uh, written this uh, four things here so can can you uh, just answer me all those four questions that uh, okay uh, I'm not able to check okay all right so it's here okay so simple question uh, I would say do you want to be happy so if it applies to you I want to be happy so I'm asking each one of you do you want to be happy yes or no any two answers? Yes, 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 yes. Obviously, yes, yes. Oh, 
okay my next question my next question here do i want others to be happy yes or no okay 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 definitely yes of course of course yes definitely yes yes we wish for harmony wonderful indeed right 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 okay now my question is what do you think do the other people want to be happy the all other people in their lives in their relationships do they want to be happy yes 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 a lot of yes we all know of course okay case to case basis okay nane mehnev all right okay so there there is a certain reservation here okay so now my friends listen to this question carefully do you think that others they want me to be happy i wish okay <laughs> not all okay not all uh huh maybe not everyone sometimes maybe okay depends on that person maybe perhaps not sure yes people generally do others if friend then yeah but can't trust anyone okay all right so now my question is again question see so i have i have lot of many questions i i don't have any answers to these things like right so i i just have questions only so you just tell me one thing here so when i was talking about that i want to be happy so we have 80 85 participants i am excluding myself right okay so 85 first participants they are saying that they want to be happy yes i want to be happy i want others to be happy others okay jo baki uh, the rest of the 86 uh, participants are there the 85 participants are there for each one of you they want to be happy at their places yes perfectly fine but when it comes to the other people whether they want me to be happy we are doubting it we are doubting it who are these other persons who are they so if here i am saying that others want to be happy right i'm saying that because i am actually judging on the basis of my judgment if i want to be happy yes definitely the other person also wants to be happy right yes of course they want to be happy uh huh and here if i want others to be happy so that i the answer to this question everybody has said yes with no 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 reservations at all right see no reservations at all here i said that i want others to be happy and each one of you have said that then how come others want me to be happy cannot be true okay so uh, namrata says we can control only our thoughts and actions and not others yes of course of course that that is that is the that is one strategy uh, to limit yourselves in order to understand this world yes that that's one strategy okay so what what the thing is we have been we have been taught two strategies in order to tackle with these situations what we do is either we fight or we flight right so these two strategies but that's that's not the entire solution i do i do remember when muhammad uh, muhammad wrote something uh, uh, I'm, i'm browsing just a second muhammad ali wrote something uh, about needs acceptance to other trust and acceptance to other okay so here what what important is muhammad uh, i must say that was that was a wonderful wonderful answer so what what the most important thing here is is acceptance 
is acceptance. Sometimes, sometimes due to uh, competition. Okay, all right. Yes, it happens. It's competition. We have been told during school competitions are healthy. Why can't we keep all the competitions healthy there? So if somebody is winning, we must be happy on their win also. If somebody is failing, we must uh, grieve for their uh, for their loss also. So that's that's what acceptance. So what we need to learn here is acceptance. But it is not about the, uh, we, we, we talk that we are going to accept the person. If he's a bad person, we are going to accept him as a bad person. No, not at all. We want to accept that person as a human being. We have to accept that that person too has some feelings. That person also wants to be happy. That person wants other people want to be happy as well. Okay. Okay. So you might be, uh, okay, we all want to be happy. After all, we live with one another. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> Georgie. Definitely, definitely, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, contribution. We all, this is what we have been discussing so far. We all want to be happy, which is, it is not about the survival. It is about co-survival. So we, we just don't exist. We coexist. Even if one species go extinct overnight, that may harm the entire nature. So this mother nature, mother nature loves each and every species equally, right? So when we talk about the existence, next time we must not talk about the existence itself because we are not here to exist. And we as a human being, we can only help other uh, other species uh, in coexisting, right? Right. Okay. So, so uh, uh, coming back, uh, coming back to the trust part where uh, the happiness and all things we were we were discussing, right? So now, now the thing is, uh, so these were the intentions. These were the some questions on on our intentions, on the intentions of each and every human being out there, right? So my intentions, it means my intentions are good. I want to be happy. I want others to be happy. Others want to be happy and others may or may not want me to be happy. That's perfectly fine. But uh, here we need to understand the others which we are perceiving as that they don't want me to be happy. We are the others to the other people available here. So it is, again, I would say, coexistence right so don't we we don't need to get into haste into judging people by by anything by anything maybe by the caste creed or whatsoever their ethnicity race whatsoever it is <clears throat> right so because it is about the intentions we have learned about intentions okay <clears throat> if you if you still have some sort of uh, question uh, here so you may you may shoot your questions. So now we will uh, <clears throat> come to the competence part. The competence part. So trust me, uh, 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 please note here that uh, these intentions and competence we are discussing here. These are not the individual topics what we are discussing. So these are the parts of trust, the foundation feeling. Okay. So competence. So these are the kind of related to my intentions that now this my intention is, but what my competence is, how much I am able to, you know, uh, gain from it, right? So here, so if my intention is I want to be happy, okay, now my competence is whether I am able to make myself happy. If I want to be happy, am I able to make myself happy? Yes, please. Waiting for your answers.
Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, happiness blossoms from inside. Yes, yes. So everybody is saying that they are able to make themselves happy. That's, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, we, we make so much of efforts to make ourselves happy. Right. Okay. So now the question is, I want others to be happy. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Namrita Bobde. So could you please uh, uh, let me know that uh, your answer try to, what's the word? That you try to uh, make yourself happy. Is it so? Try to make myself happy in all the circumstances, I guess. Okay, okay. So when you say I'm trying to make myself happy, so what was the one thing which came to your mind where you thought you were lacking somewhere that you were not able to make yourself happy? Uh, sometimes the surroundings of you or few people around you, they disturb you. So okay. in those times also, we try to be happy. Okay, okay, fine. So this, this is what we, we were actually discussing here that uh, we, when we say that we are being impacted uh, by the other people, so the only thing here is it is about the intentions. So what happens is, so why intention is a part of trust? So whenever you say, any anybody, whenever somebody say that I, I do not trust that person, so what is the first thing which comes to your mind when you are doubting somebody on the basis of his or her trustworthiness? No, I don't think it would be about trust, but yeah, sometimes the expectations that yes. we keep, they don't make, the, it's not every time about trust, uh, I do trust, I do accept, but yes, sometimes it works the other way. Okay, okay, uh, thank you Namrita ji. So, uh, so uh, what I would uh, uh, suggest here is, uh, what I would uh, like to add here is, that whenever, even if you say that it is not about the trust, but actually when it is about the trust, it is about the doubting somebody's intentions. So if I, if I say here that others don't want me to be happy, so what is this? What is this? This is, this is just like that I am doubting somebody's intentions. So if you want to add something here, you want to, even if you want to shoot me, you can. <laughs> it's just uh, instead of shooting your questions, that would be perfect. No, no, actually it's not that, uh, it's not that the other person is trying to make me unhappy. But the thing is, maybe he is trying to be happy in that process somewhere I'm getting unhappy. Maybe th that might be the reason. Yeah, but that's, yeah. that's a wonderful, wonderful insight you have given. So what we have discussing so far is about coexistence. We need to understand, right? We need to understand the person because there might be certain things which, uh, in which that particular person might be finding happiness in, right? So sometimes, if even if even if you say the what if this the other person is not actually doing the something which is morally or ethically correct. Right, that, that might be the situation as well. Because why, why uh, somebody is writing, just a second, let me see. But there is a point of saturation. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, yes, there is a point of saturation when we, because why, why that point of saturation comes? because we overthink over the issues. Okay, we overthink over the issues because we keep on, keep on mulling, mulling over, mulling over, bonding upon. So, so many things, so many things that comes to my mind. So what we need to do is we need to clean up our mind, right? So in order to do that, 
first of all the understanding part when we say that right the understanding part so the may uh, the moment you started discussing you you actually talked about the expectations right so we people we people know everything you know we know everything even if we have been trying for some something uh, getting something so hard somewhere deep down we know whether we deserve that particular thing or no whether we will be able to get that particular thing or no we know that right but still we keep on trying just because the, the world has become so competitive that we just want to have something right so sometimes we just need to feel free we need to let go even if uh, uh you you you're not finding this the answers correct you can always reach out to me so uh, you can you can uh, get my uh, email id from shivani so she'll be sharing it with we can we can have uh, a little more chat chat on this uh, particular topic so since it is uh, uh, i'm finding this something very much personal to you so uh, we do uh, i do not want to dig it deeper so but still we definitely would love to uh, discuss it right in person right okay so uh by um, even i need to respect time as well okay all right so here we talked about intentions yes uh, everybody's intentions are very much clear they want everyone to be happy so the next question i want others to be happy i am am i able to keep others happy now the next question is am i able to keep others happy surely okay no surely was the earlier comment okay yes uh, anybody yes okay so we have got one yes from mohammed you cannot always do that okay i hope so a lot of lot of lot of reservations you know a lot of reservations why why so much reservations okay well like maybe uh <clears throat> we we do one thing here we do one thing here we'll uh not all the time and happiness is in internal okay all right thanks gail so we'll we'll take all those questions uh, in one go others are able to keep themselves happy because you cannot let anything take a trip uh, okay okay we we are going to discuss this point uh, just just a second uh, shivani ji okay so the next question is are others able to keep themselves happy yes okay so most of the people they are going to answer it a uh, yes yeah i know that i know i hope so okay 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 right so majority would go by a uh, yes all right now see we we what we feel is i am capable of keeping myself happy if you if you do the analysis of all the chat here so people they are going to feel that i am able to keep myself happy others are able to keep themselves happy but the only problem is i want to keep keep other people happy but they are not happy with me being happy or me taking care of them in order to make them happy so so it's it's a very complicated task very complicated so if you say see the first and the third okay they are related and second and the fourth are related the only view point is different so if we talk about even if we talk about uh, in in a group uh, of people who who uh, know each other very really well okay so may, maybe in a, in a kind of uh, your office setting all right so you may be friends with many people in your office or maybe in your college or or anywhere in your neighborhood as well right so that there, there may be possibility you talk to them every day right but 
somewhere deep down you don't want to trust them right because what happens is why that's the only answer that i am doubting their intentions because even if the the other person is trying to uh, make certain um, you know uh, efforts to make me happy but i would still doubt that what benefit he or she is seeking from me if he is doing so much for me we are so doubtful aren't we we are that's in maximum number of times so the factors here may be many numerous factors uh, will be contributing it is uh, the intention is something not what we what we entirely make it on our own right so a number of factors what we have learned from uh, the past experiences of my parents maybe right from the neighborhood from the media many things so i have decided that i am the sole survivor in the um, in this world chicken i i don't require anyone because i am the only person i can trust right no my dear i would repeat here again that it is something where we have to coexist not just exist so in order to understand the first foundation feeling of human relationships which is trust two things are very very important <clears throat> one is to understand the intentions and second is to work on the competence we must not doubt anybody's intentions because we have heard from uh, almost 80 90 people that uh, each one of them they want to be happy each one of them they want others to be happy right so only two first two sentences will serve the entire purpose so if i want to be happy and others want to be others happy so who is left behind none nobody at all right so from now onwards i i can just request give it a try it is not like just uh, if if i am saying something it is going going to be true all the time right so it is just uh, like a disclaimer before the movie that all the work is fictitious maybe right maybe maybe but i'm not saying that don't try this at home please do try it try it once twice thrice don't doubt the intentions and let the other person know that you are not doubting his or her intentions your relation with the other person is definitely going to change definitely it will blossom now what what we need to do is yes we will work on our intentions that perfectly fine now what 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 competence means competence means if you ever feel that somebody is not able to make myself happy so what we do is we just let the other person understand what happiness is what trust is right so this is how you work on intentions of your own please note please note what we can do is we can work on intentions of our own and competence of other persons but do not go directly into the pool of people where you start rectifying the competence of other people so before we want to uh, like work on the competence of others we want to enhance the competence of other people we need to work 100% on our intentions first right <clears throat> so i would i would request here to you guys that uh, 
pizza. I, I, I wouldn't say that uh, you just blindly follow whatever I have uh, said here, right? So, but just give it a try. Try it two, three times, right? So if you, if you like it, if you find it useful, keep it with yourself. Work on intentions. And if you're able to do that, then go and enhance the competence of others, right? So because coexistence, when you, when you work on other people's competence, you are actually not just surviving, but you are coexisting. You are helping other people to exist in a better way, right? So, so with this note, uh, and, and one uh, beautiful uh, a Thai commercial a life insurance company from Thailand, right? So a commercial that how you coexist, okay? So we will uh, end the session with that video. So before we uh, like wind up the session, so I would, I would uh, like to ask if, if you have any, any question to ask or you want to add something, or even if you want to rectify me somewhere, I'll be happy to listen to that. Right? Okay. Mehinir. Uh, okay. Well said. Thank you so much. Muhammad Ali agreed. Thank you. Well, Pala Gupta says, uh, what is needed to have a healthy relationship with yourself? Okay. That's, that's a wonderful, wonderful question, Palak. So why, why aren't you having a good relationship with yourself? Can, can you unmute yourself and explore, uh, like explain it a little bit or uh, you just want me to answer the way it has been asked? Palak, okay. So the first thing is, see, uh, if you talk about the relationship with yourself, the only thing is that you need to, you need to believe in yourself. So why, when you know that your overthinking is a bad thing, why are you thinking upon again and again? Just don't think about it, right? So do, do, do whatever you want to do, whatever you like. You need to believe yourself, believe in yourself. So once you started believing yourself, because if you know that you are doing something uh, which is not going to harm anybody, okay, and it is not going to harm you, so then why, why are you overthinking about it? So if it's overthinking comes when you're not confident about something, right? So when you're not confident about something, <clears throat> it means, it means I, I, I told you earlier as well. So somewhere deep down, you know that whether you will get that particular thing or no, right? So don't fight with yourself, believe in yourself, explore your <clears throat> potential, explore your skills. What are you good at it? And do those things. This is how you keep your uh, relationship with yourself healthy, right? Pursue some hobbies. I, 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 I just uh, uh, don't know that what kind of situation you are into and uh, uh, to what extent uh, you are having uh, that kind of uh, sore relationship with yourself. But I would still say that uh, even if you are not able to get it right with whatever I have suggested, so I, the next therapy can be that it is better you talk to somebody, right? Or maybe make some new friends. After all, it is about coexistence. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, Okay, sure. Good wishes for that.
okay and uh, we will uh, watch uh, one video and uh, yes obviously and after that i'll be wishing you a thoughtful weekend you give a thought to whatever has been discussed here okay and uh, allow me to shift my screen from this to the tab where the video is there all right okay it is that is the almost uh, two minutes video so you you and the, probably you might have watched it as well so it is it is not something which uh, i have i have got it from from some sort of treasure box right so it, it it went really viral a few years back okay so so here shivani could you please let me know if it is visible or maybe somebody else. it is yes, visible sir. okay so and then please help me with if it is audible as well is it audible shivani yes it is it is okay. yes all right okay watch this video carefully it is it is word the word watching จะได้อะไรถ้าเขาทำแบบนี้ทุกวันเขาจะไม่ได้อะไรเลยไม่ได้รวยขึ้นไม่ได้ออกทีวีไม่มีใครรู้จักไม่ได้มีชื่อเสียงที่มากขึ้นสิ่งที่เขาได้คือได้แค่ความรู้สึกได้เห็นความสุขได้เข้าใจได้ความรักในสิ่งที่เงินซื้อไม่ได้ได้โลกที่สวยงามกว่าเดิมไม่ชีวิตคุณอะไรคือสิ่งที่คุณต้องการมากที่สุดภัยประกันชีวิตเชื่อในความดีright so this is uh, you know that's that's all for today i hope uh, the the session now uh, went well so muhammad ali is writing uh, listen learn love care and sharing will make yourself and others happy
yes, whatever, you know, it is not about uh, that. Uh, don't confine yourself that only love, caring and sharing. Yes. I, I must say here one thing. Yes. Otherwise, Muhammad has written really very well. But uh, the thing is that uh, it is about coexistence. So don't, don't just uh, focus only upon what other people are doing, but uh, what, we, what we have to do is whether it is a human being or whosoever, or a, just a living being. We just have to keep one thing in mind that we have to, we have to, waiting, waiting for the answer. We have to coexist. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Palak. Okay. With this, uh, with these words, uh, I'll take uh, your leave. Shivani, if you want to add something, you can. Otherwise, we are done with the session. So it is like the session is simply wow. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just looking for the comments from the participants. And so it's like just, just a positive message from each of the participants to you. Uh, yes, sir, I'm thankful to you for the one of the wonderful sessions, sir. Yeah, no, no, not, not, not a problem, Shivani. That's perfectly fine. The audience were wonderful, actually. Okay, Ariel, uh, we'll see to it surely, no problem. You can always reach out, Shivani. We, we, we may conduct it again. Okay. Okay. Madaming Salamat, which means thanks from Philippines. Okay. Thanks to you. Too. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. So, We'll uh, see you next time sometime. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. And focus on existence. Yeah. Salama. All right, Shivani, I'll take your leave. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. We'll share you the Thank feedback so uh, response soon. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for that. Okay, see you. Bye bye. Bye, sir. Bye bye. And please share the recording as well, Shivani. Sure, sir. That's what we are say, uh, saying to them. Ki kindly subscribe our YouTube channel for the recorded session of today's wonderful Adakta Bhadakta session. Shanti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we must not talk uh, in Hindi because uh, most of the participants they don't belong to India. So. <laughs> Channel. Okay, all right. Uh, <coughs> see you guys. Bye bye. Take care. Dear participants, kindly subscribe our YouTube channel.